Greetings everybody, welcome back to the High Tower. Today I'm going to be doing the part two of that debate. Uh, admittedly I was a bit shy when I first started recording these videos and putting them up on YouTube. So I didn't really listen to them, I thought it was best just to get them up there. That way all of my goofy foolishness is kind of already out there to be seen and I can just get a move on with what I'm trying to get done here. So uh, I did decide to redo this review. Hopefully this will be in better sound, something a lot more tolerable as I found the first couple of videos that I personally uploaded to be a bit unbearable. I even thought about removing them. However, that's not how life works and this is all part of my journey to hopefully become a better recorder. Today's debate, in case you don't know, is going to be about uh, abortion. It's going to be between Destiny and these two lovely ladies right here. Uh, I've only seen about half an hour of it before I stopped recording and decided to actually review my videos and see the error of my ways. Uh, let's just kind of jump into it, guys. What, what do you mean, how have I assaulted you? Insulted me. <laughs> Wait, how did I insult you? Do you understand the difference between a policy position versus like an epistemic statement or like a moral statement? Yes, I'm not, a, I'm not a moron, thank you. Okay. I love well, how then you word I don't, these well, questions. Like, I don't know do why you... Do you understand there's a difference between the color blue I, I, and the color purple? Okay. I'm not really sure. Yeah. I don't know. I've never talked to a misogynistic man like this before. Oh my. She, she's just accused you of being misogynistic. I mean, do you have a response to that? I am. Wouldn't that be the equivalent of a woman leaving a child starving to death on their floor? No, no. absolutely not. No. I, how dare you? Can, hold on, can you First answer the question? No, no, I, I, no, no. How because, dare because you? Because what you're talking about right now is essentially the real genocide How? of children is all the children being miscarried right now you? in the first the few queen. weeks. I am joined today by Destiny, famous internet personality, <laughs> live streamer, and political commentator who will be arguing the him, pro-choice side. And we have really Kristen Hawkins. She's the president of Students for Life of America, a nonprofit pro-life organization. And Lila Rose, she's the founder and president of the pro-life organization, Live Action. And uh, we were going to have someone else on Destiny's side, but unfortunately, they backed out kind of last minute. So Destiny, this is gonna be a 2v1. I prefer to characterize my position as pro-abortion, not pro-choice, okay? Pro Very, pro honest. Pro Thank you. Okay. Very honest. That's, Thank you. that's a good okay. clarification. Thank you. Got it. Um, so I think a good jumping so off point, so good. Um, if each of you would like to summarize beyond just being either pro-choice or pro-life, or in your case, uh, pro-abortion or anti-abortion, uh, what is your basic stance okay. on abortion? I need my basic stance is we try to figure out what is a person, what makes a person. A person is granted some positive, some negative rights by governments, and probably morally and ethically separate from governments, we also grant people some type of right. I don't believe that a person is a collection no. of cells. I don't believe that a person is just a body with a brain. I think that very specifically when we speak about a person, we speak about something that has the capacity to deploy a conscious experience because that tends to be the thing that we're usually talking about when we're figuring out if somebody's alive or dead or whether or not somebody ought to be protected. When we say a person, when we say who is suffering, we don't say what is suffering. We're not talking about a body. We're not talking about a heartbeat. We're talking about a person having an experience. So when I try to think of abortion, I try to think of who is being harmed. I would say that for 20 to 24 weeks, that's about when the scientists say that the brain has all the parts necessary to begin communicating, to have a conscious experience, that about at that point, there is some experience there that we can speak of as a who or as a person. But prior to that, the first trimester, that really experience is not happening yet. So if you want to have an abortion, there is no who that's being harmed. There's just a what, which is whatever the body is up to that point. So generally, I'm pro-choice the first abortion up until that conscious experience has been formed because I think that's what's worth protecting because that's when we look to see when somebody's dead. So that's what we should look to see when somebody's alive. So are you anti-abortion after 20 or 24 weeks? Yeah, after 20 to 24 weeks. Kind of all abortions, anti-all abortions after 20 to 24 weeks? With with the obvious exceptions of like ectopic pregnancies or life of the mother or something like that being threatened, yeah, yeah, easy, yeah, of course. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And your positions. My, yeah, on so I'll, I mean, we share a position, but Kristen, I'm sure will have yeah. a, have her way she wants to describe it. Um, I think that all humans have human rights by nature of being a human you are a well, member of think. the human family, and so any member of the human family, and this is actually the preamble of the Declaration on Universal Human Rights by the United Nations. So for those that think they have any authority, I don't know if you do, Destiny, um, they say that all members of the human family 
um, deserve to be protected um, and treated by the law as persons. Mm -hmm. And so if you're a member of the human family, you have human rights. And we know when you become a member of the human family, it's at the moment of fertilization. It's very clear. A single cell embryo comes into existence. And so I'm, I believe human rights for all humans. And I also want to build a society of love and justice. And the way to do that is to treat people equally under the law and to protect the most vulnerable, especially children. Children deserve... Okay, sorry. <laughs> few points here. <clears throat> I do side with the ladies personally. Uh, I believe I'm pro-life. I don't think you should have the choice. I also agree that once you have... Once the uh, sperm is fertilized, the egg, that, that's the moment of conception. That is, of course, my personal belief. I do know that there are arguments like Destiny's making currently, which is, uh, you know, well, they aren't conscious, they aren't truly fully alive, they can't sustain themselves outside the womb. I understand those arguments. However, I guess I'm a naturalist? Where I would say, I, I just, I don't think it'd be proper for us to, just because we can and we have the ability doesn't mean that we necessarily should be doing those things. I also think it's morally wrong to do those things, especially if we're trying to have a society. Oh my god, I gotta stop the wait. Okay, see... I run? No, I can run. Okay, I gotta get back to base. Okay. Alright, let me resume the studio real quick. More protection, actually, than adults because they are defenseless. And so we should actually go out of our way to do what we can to protect children and never commit homicide against them. So that's that's my pro-life position. Cool. Yeah, I share Lally's position. Mm. I'm, I'm against the strong being able to choose whether or not the weak or the vulnerable get to live or die based on someone else's that's kind of you know, perception of them or their that's, convenience factor. That's kind of how our species has I think always that's worked. A very slippery a slope, and I actually think the position and even then, you represented um, is a very dangerous one yeah. because. And even then, uh, doesn't the government do that now? If, if abortion were allowed or completely disallowed, isn't that the government, someone else, someone with power, like saying, hey, then again, maybe I'm just dumb and missing what she's saying here. Uh, right. so what you're saying is you have to be not only a member of our species in order to be a person with rights, the, the very bu basic right to life, but you have to be a person plus. And it's a very exclusionary class of what you're doing. You're excluding a whole group of human beings. So I, I guess my question is, are there other human beings you would exclude that you you don't view Destiny as persons? Uh, not for this to pick. That feels no, like a good. loaded question. Uh, here's a question, actually. Let me, uh, let me respond to your question with a question. Um, you guys say that humans are protected. Do you agree with that, that humans ought to be protected or well, humans are given? Well, more specifically, humans have human rights. So yeah, protection okay. can mean different things. But humans the have human rights. The fundamental human mm -hmm. right is the right to not be killed. Okay. It's the right to be protected against the right to life. And so uh, that's I why know. I this don't have the right to commit homicide against you, Destiny, uh -huh. or against you, this Kristen, or against you, Brian. Uh, <laughs> okay, I, I could just hit space and pause it. That's perfect. That's rough. I'm not... I'm, I'm a bit curious into what context they're talking about um human life matters just inherently naturally with that that i'd probably disagree with that that doesn't make sense for me and though i doubt i'll ever be asked to i can probably expand on that at a later time because i mean you know if you come up against like a cougar and it's hunting you and you're by yourself and it decides to eat you you know Nothing's come from the sky and stopping the cougar from eating you. So I don't know if it is as important as we try to make it. Uh, and that's just from, like, inherently as a human being. I assume this argument is from, you know, you know societally. But, uh... I'm honestly, I'm getting kind of confused. 
Although, also maybe because I'm playing a game. I'm trying to listen to this. I'm trying to kill. Oh no! Don't do that! I'm not gonna lie, it is much harder than it looks. I actually don't need that. Um. Uh, okay. And certainly not against a pre-born developing child. Okay. And yeah, so, but I have a question for you too, but I know we all have questions for yeah. each other, but I'll let you. Sure, let yeah, because I'm gonna keep go. going on this. Yeah. I don't believe that you believe in that statement, uh, mm -hmm. that humans have a right to life. So my next question mm -hmm. would be, I show you a human who's been dead for 10 days, mm. the corpse is still a human, we agree, right? I think to clarify, a right to life meaning a right to not yeah. be killed, yeah. not a right not to yeah. be killed. It's meaning fundamentally different, abortion yeah. and end of life care. I've, I've, I've I mm -hmm. watched one of your debates this morning when I was mm -hmm. on the plane coming here, mm -hmm. and I found it interesting because you kept using this end of life and argument. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. fundamentally have a right not to be killed. Abortion is an active killing. It's mm -hmm. an active dismember. It's actually a violent ending for another human being. So morally, that act of abortion is, is much different than someone who maybe is brain dead or we're not sure their brain activity that's been in a hospital for three months. That's, that's a much different position to take um, because you're not actively killing that person. You may say, mm. we have to withdraw life support for this reason, or we, you know, the doctor may say, we have this reason to believe this I person agree is with that. brain dead. Mm -hmm. um, I think you'd have to keep that person you're not alive. Actively killing. You don't say, well, they're going to die, so I'm going to take a gun and put it Because what if a medication comes out tomorrow that we makes them We would no not say that. We would say, we might withdraw life dead. support and see if the person can sustain life on his or her own, but we're not going to actively so dismember them in the process or violently kill kill them in the process. But that's exactly what abortion is. It's not just with easily withdrawing life support. It's actively going into a womb where there's a developing human being that biologist tells us is unique, whole, living human being uh -huh. that's never existed before and will never exist again, and it's actively killing them. Okay, I don't believe that you believe in that argument. Um, if I were to show you that all abortions could be done by just extracting the baby and then leaving it on the table and not actively killing it, but just removing it from the mother's life support and seeing what happens, would you be okay with that? That is actively killing. That it. is killing. It. Because the how is that actively killing anymore? Because than children, the plug on Destiny, uh -huh. you know this. You're a parent. Children are dependent on their parents. Mm -hmm. A newborn is dependent on his or her parents, right. and yeah. a preborn child is dependent on his sure. or her mother. I'm just, I understand. I'm just challenging of a child. the words we're using here. The difference okay, that's fine. But de killing, the yeah. dependency of a child doesn't give their parents or anyone else the right to kill sure. that child. Sure. I never said as much. I was challenging Well, you do say as much, I think, because I think your position is if that dependent child before the arbitrary line of 20 to 24 weeks mm -hmm. is in any way unwanted, inconvenient, mm -hmm. just for whatever reason cho abortion mm -hmm. is chosen for that child, then you are okay with a parent killing their child. Um, well, I think Chris is my durability. Place. No, the only thing I'm trying to figure out right now is I'm trying but to... But are you okay with that? Because I think that was what well, you said right, I don't know what... So right now I'm just trying to figure out what your position is. So we oftentimes... Well, we're trying to figure out your position too, so... I, we'll I already get my position with crystal clear. But it actually well, it wasn't unclear. It was, it was, was yeah. actually clear, Destiny, because mm. when... Okay, wait, hold on, wait, wait, just hold on, wait, 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 hold on, just because I got cut off like seven times and I haven't responded. So just to be very clear, to give you an idea of like what I'm trying to establish right now, when I have conversations with people that are pro-life, mm -hmm. there's a lot of dancing between words that I think deserve distinct mm -hmm. definitions. Human, I think, is distinctly different from person. I think it's distinctly different from life. I think it's distinctly different from child. But all of these things, when we're talking pro-life, tend to just get thrown together. Like, oh, we should defend all human people and children are worthy of life. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these statements are almost begging the question. Obviously, anything that you would consider a child deserves rights to life, right? But that's what's pro life is believe human beings are persons. Yes. Yeah. What you're arguing is that some human beings don't deserve personhood sure. rights. But what I'm trying which to do throughout history, Destiny, mm -hmm. has always proved to be a very dangerous mm -hmm. position that you're taking. Yeah, I understand the analogies of slavery we're trying to draw here, but um, what, what I'm just trying to figure out is because... But do, can you respond to that? Because I think, let's yeah. just take it one step at a time, because I, that I might... I think you, fundamentally you, yeah. there's a difference between saying a fetus hasn't developed the cognitive parts yet to recognize it as living versus saying black people and white people okay, are well different address, types of things. Okay, well, let's address <laughs> consciousness for a minute, because my understanding is you're saying... Okay, if you if want, hold on, real okay. quick. If you want, we can leave to my position if you want. I still have no idea what you guys believe, but we can leave for mine if you want. Well, I'll be very clear. clear. I mean, we can say it slower for you. What I heard you say is that, like, children should have rights and should be Every killed, any, which I think we all agree. Any human life uh -huh. has the right to not be killed. Yeah. Any well, yeah, human but life then you the also right try to, to draw, when you said not be killed, you try to draw a distinction between like active and passively killing. No, no, you it, you she cannot. Did. Uh, she did. Because she said there was a difference between pulling the plug on grandpa versus actively killing. But you actively took the, the fetus out. Human life. 
is, sure. is but what But I was you saying that like unplugging capacity. grandpa would be kind of like unplugging a baby. You're disconnecting both from a life support thing. No, because, no, because, because one's going belongs, to be coming back and having the consciousness before that you've seen. He or she's right born belongs to be. in, the, in his or her mother's womb. Sure, I understand. But so that means there's natural, probably ways to... It's a natural to, habitat. Sure, this is fundamentally different. Thing. There's probably ways to passively kill children that we would agree is also wrong. Just because you're actively versus passively doing something, well, that's it's not going to be... I think intention matters too. Yeah. Sure, it absolutely can be, yeah. I agree, uh, but uh, that's okay, important well, to qualify. We can't just say like passively sure. killing somebody is fundamentally different from actively killing somebody. Therefore, one uh, is ascribed like moral weight and the other isn't. Because there's if you starve a child, well, that's passive, but that's also. I bad. think there's a few other things you have to get into and what you mean by passive or active. Sure, I agree. That's what I'm so. trying to get into. But you can ask me questions if you want. I'll just okay. I, can pause I do have a yeah, question about consciousness yeah, because I, my understanding is that's your big line. Mm -hmm. That if there's suddenly consciousness, then they are a person. They're not mm -hmm. just a human, but they're also a person. And I, uh, uh, first to clarify, they're you think it's okay for some humans to be the victims yeah. of homicide. Yeah. You think it's okay to commit homicide against okay. a human, cool. just not a person. I mean, I would take issue with homicide because that's a really loaded term, but I would say that you can end the life of uh, human beings that no longer have the capacity to deploy consciousness. And so if do I'm that. asleep and I'm unconscious, quick. it's okay to kill me? That's why I said capacity to deploy consciousness. I can wake you up when you're sleeping. Like the fetus okay. has capacity. No, a fetus, fetus that doesn't have the necessary brain parts uh, has Destiny, no capacity for consciousness. If you give that child time, that child <laughs> give the child time has capacity. Wait, wait, you said 20, 24 weeks. What yeah. about children? Hold on. Who wait, 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 wait. Who have REM Just cycle sleep at 11 wait, 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 wait. weeks. Wait, wait, Just what you said there. Mm -hmm. Give the child time implies that it's give not there Give me time to wake up. Do you think that a seed and a tree are the same thing? Uh, you're 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 making a wrong equivalency. I'm here. not making a wrong no, equivalency. I'm destiny. saying that a seed because given enough time, well, a seed given destiny. enough time will grow into a tree. But when you use the word, this thing will become Eight. this thing. The implication there is your intuition pumping all the rights that this thing has for saying this will become incorrect. This. Mm. Incorrect. A child. Okay. okay, I guess I have found out for sure. I guess I am too simple. I mean, in the example that he given, if he gave me a seed, that was from a that we both knew was from a tree, I would say yes, I, I, I think that's going to become a tree if you plant that into the earth. I guess I am missing completely what he's saying. Perhaps someone can help illuminate me. In the womb, a human being has yeah. the capacity for consciousness. No, it they might not have developed that. Capacity so that means they don't yet. have the capacity they might not for it. Guys, guys, one, just, just one microphone at a time, please. Just okay. let everyone. Finish. Sorry, they yeah. might Absolutely. not have developed the capacity yet. Similarly, if someone is in a coma or unconscious, mm -hmm. they're not actively. Mm -hmm. That capacity is not activated yet. But if you don't interrupt the life of that child, if you don't right. kill that child, that child will absolutely be conscious and just a few, develop consciousness in just a few weeks. And that's the difference between the so question you were asking me earlier when you tried to trip me off about the I'm end not trying of to life. You guys are the ones trying to trip me off. No. I'm just keeping, I'm trying to We're take trying off to your clarify, you have, you have a very murky position because you said between 20 to 24 weeks, I believe a child has rights. Which one is it if you're the one making the laws? Sure. And who gives I have you the right to make those I have a crystal clear laws? position. My position is the thing we ought to defend is the conscious experience because that's the thing we look when to. When does that conscious experience begin? About here? 20 to 24 weeks. You don't well, that's a big time period because there's been children who've that. been born at 21 weeks and five days. Mm -hmm. So do, were those children, when they were born prematurely, so I had an intern a few years ago mm -hmm. who was one of the youngest children ever to survive okay. um, at that age. She was 21 weeks and six days old. Okay. So she's right in between your 20 to 24 week time range. Okay. So when she and her twin sister were born, do you believe that the hospital, the NICU, did something wrong and giving out care and spending hundreds of thousands of dollars in care to sustain her and her sister's life? Why would I think something wrong was done there? Well, because oh, you don't think it's a human with consciousness necessarily. Yeah, so I don't think sure. a two-week-old is a human them. with consciousness, but that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with supporting it. Wh but you're saying it's okay to kill it. So you're saying my kill vagina is magical. So something um, happened. No, first of all, as a child born by C-section, I'm very offended. Okay, but we're humans I mean, that, too. That's a position Number one, you're no. Taking. Hold on. Is it hold something? Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Birth. The vagina magic guy is not in the room right now. Well, I didn't give any qualification about birth being the magical time that made somebody a human. I've never said that ever. So I have no idea what position you're attacking there. Um, to back up, very I'm attacking clearly, your position that's not clear because my you position said 20 is, to uh, 24 weeks, and I'm asking you a very direct question yeah. about child born. Your 21 question was if a, if a child is prematurely days. born at 16 weeks, the mother and the father have every right to try to find support for that child. Why would you not? But 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 why? What what makes that why? child? Why because it's going to grow yeah. into their kid. Why would of, they not? Of care. But you're saying it's okay. Well, but here I here a better question. If, if you believe that the conscious ex human experience is all that matters, 
why set that limit to 20 to 24 weeks? Like, why, why not have it be... Uh, wow, I can't believe that happened. <laughs> cool. Uh, why not have it just be, oh, well, uh, when we scan their brain for their yearly checkup, I guess, and we see, oh, there it is, it's developed, that cortex. Uh, now they're humans. But even then, they don't really have all the rights because we still make a lot of the decisions for them as parents. Uh, but I guess back to what they were discussing, um... No, uh, I got lost in my thoughts. Ooh. Okay, Pay to kill the kid at 16 weeks. Sure. And and I think that's the that's the difference between this side of the table and that side of the table. Well, that obviously table that's okay. because I'm pro-choice and you guys are right, anti you're, you're pro-abortion. Pro 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 abortion. Abortion. Yeah. Have you ever considered no. that you could be wrong on this issue? Yeah, of course. What? Have you? What? Absolutely. Hold on. Only one, Absolutely. to be clear, only one side of the table here is tied to organizations <laughs> that are getting money invested in them. And have, so well, any side here, I gonna, started my organization. I understand, but so. you're never changing your position. I'm still free to change mine. So in terms yeah. of asking me if I consider that I'm wrong, I can consider that I'm wrong. You guys will never change your opinion on this. I've, 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 I've considered it. I've okay. had to consider a lot of things. Sure. Um, but <laughs> what would it stuff. mean if you were wrong on your position on abortion? What would Morally, it mean if what I would was it mean? wrong? So. I don't know it if you mean believe that he'd been advocating or whatever. Well, I haven't aborted any kids yet, but so say you, know, say you get hit by a bus uh -huh. and you go to heaven and God's like, destiny, uh, you've been completely wrong on abortion your entire life. You've advocated for abortions between 20 and 24 weeks. No one can really tell because you wouldn't give us a definitive time. Uh, hold on. The, me, you're, like, like, you're hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I got to do this real quick. Like, I gotta, what no, would wait, that mean if you were wrong on abortion? Okay, hold on, hold on. For you saying that just because I can't nail an exact solid time, when that's kind of a big deal. It's not really that big. It of a deal. is a big deal. It's a big deal. You're making a line laws. Between, there's super a line not a big deal. You could and literally it just say totally like, okay. "Hey, before 20 weeks, abortion is okay," and then draw the cutoff right there if you want. That's a question for policymakers. But but sh but why do policymakers? Why does anyone no. get to decide <laughs> whether or not an decide. innocent person lives or dies? Because that's what policymakers do. No, they don't okay. have the right to kill an innocent the, person. Uh, if any policymaker tries to kill an innocent person, that's, that's murder. And, and, and triage and, and who there's gets medical treatment first, or if you're making decisions about Destiny, saving people from. Can't you admit there's a? Okay, okay, hold on. Wait 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 okay. wait 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 okay. I still wait wait wait. Just be clear. I'm just trying to go. Wait 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 wait. I know, but I don't have a chance to answer any question, and you're like loading so many horrible. Like intuition pump question bags in front of me that I don't have time to answer all of the horrible questions in front of me. Okay. I so like, wait, 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 no, I'm gonna keep talking. We're gonna do one at a time. I will answer a question, <laughs> but you can't keep stacking like dumb questions in front of me and then be like, oh, see, like you want to murder children, okay? I don't if know. You wanna, if you want to answer, questions. hold on. So let me address the very first thing because you keep trying to draw like there's some like thing here that you've caught me on. The idea that I can't give you a concrete time between 20 to 24 weeks. Okay. Yeah. I hate to be the guy that does this in a debate, but there's something called a continuum fallacy or an Nirvana fallacy. The idea that just because I can't point exactly at when something begins that I have to say that all of it is the same or I can't point to that thing existing at all. I can't tell you when individual pieces of sand are stacked up and eventually become a pile of sand. I can't give you the exact numbers of sand that I can see for that to be, but there is a difference between an individual piece mm. of sand and a pile it's of a sand. It's a false equivalency. I, hold, it's, it is. Hold on. It is. It's, it's, hold on. That's, it's this is basic argumentation. Because the reality is you are saying that these are persons yep. and yeah. these aren't based on a specific characteristic that you've you decided on. You came up with it. It's not human rights I anymore. Didn't it's consciousness rights. Yes. You believe because in that, not human no, no, no. rights. To you're be not clear, a, you're not nobody here rights. at this table, you're you are of consciousness you, rights. Hold on. No. Why don't you defend? So wait, wait, you need why to don't defend your position and you're not sure, doing sure. that. You're you're kind of yeah. weed, you know, blowing Hold smoke you. a little bit to be honest. Why don't and you so give the same rights to why don't you give the same rights to human corpses as you do to living Because they're dead. They okay. they what they're is, already dead. What does that dead. mean when you say they're dead? So they're are they're already dead. What does dead mean to you? I Their mean, bodies no longer working in a coordinated fashion anymore. Their heart isn't pumping blood. Their okay. brain is not. If I put a person, if waves. I put a person on a table and I can keep them alive with machines indefinitely, but they're never going to wake up, is that a human so life that should a, be defended? There, there is a difference between withholding extraordinary medical care. Just to be clear, care. I'm about to ask that same question after you, whatever you're about to say, because you're no, not this answering is my question. Because okay, you're, go ahead. Because you're, 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 it's, it's a bit of, it's a bit of obfuscation. The direction you're going it's here, because absolutely there's not. a difference between withholding extraordinary medical care. Mm -hmm. which would be like life support and withholding ordinary medical care. So if I, as a parent, or I as a doctor, I, mm -hmm. I have a patient in the hospital, and let's say they are there being monitored because they're, you know, they have a cancer, aggressive cancer, but they're not, they're, they're maybe going to die, but they're not dead yet. And they're not on life support, they're just being monitored. 
And if I withheld food from this cancer patient mm -hmm. and refused to feed, bring food and this cancer patient can eat and refuse to feed that cancer patient, patient, that would be homicide against that cancer patient. I don't have the right to- You agree with that, right? Yeah, do, well, that's a good question. Do you agree that that, that that would be homicide? Would it be wrong to deprive food to a cancer patient? I'll say it's wrong, for sure. Yeah. Who's okay. going to die? Well, legally, it would be murder to, to not uh, feed whether, a I'm patient I'm not going to make a legal hospital. argument, but yeah, I would agree that would be wrong, okay. yes, of course. So that's the difference okay. between extraordinary medical mm -hmm. measures and ordinary measures, okay? okay? And, for a child, and for a child in the womb, mm -hmm. they deserve the ordinary measure of being able to stay mm -hmm. in their natural habitat, their mother's womb, mm -hmm. until they're old enough to survive outside the womb. Similarly, a newborn who you're feeding formula or you're breastfeeding mm -hmm. has a right to that food from their mother or caretaker until they're old enough to, and even when they're old enough to physically feed themselves, they still have a right to mm -hmm. be given a plate full of food at the di dinner table. You can actually go to jail for child neglect by failing to feed your child. True. So, you know, building these, um, these, these analogies that actually don't work with what we're actually talking about mm -hmm. by saying, well, removing life support is like abortion, they're not the same. Because children have a right to care, and children have a right to food, and children have a right to nourishment. I still think Just you, like a right you to need life. to clarify your position, because you said 20 to 24 weeks, which I gave you a very, very real-life scenario of a child who was born, a twin who was born at 21 weeks, in six days, which in your view uh -huh. could have been aborted because you don't think she would have had the consciousness that you deem worthy of personhood. True. But I mean, what biologist do you know that tells you that consciousness is at 20, 24 weeks? That's a great question. Because I researched this before. I was on the internet, I was looking at PubMed at NIH's website. Uh -huh. There aren't biological conclusions and in fact they actually support the pro-life side because you look at the pro-life well, just don't make an argument about pro well life no pro well they do make arguments about when, when child when human life begins. when sure. twins yeah. interact so there's yeah. a there's a very well-known study mm -hmm. showing that twins interact mm -hmm. in the womb mm -hmm. as early as 14 Amoeba weeks interact with each and other pain yeah. children can experience pain <sighs> at 12 and sure. a half germs weeks. react to external so are you saying those, are you saying germs beings? are the same as human lives I, i'm well i haven't even got okay so let me make a couple things so first you said i made a false analogy earlier mm -hmm. you've lived abortion to cancer patients getting with no food. i wasn't comparing abortion to cancer patients okay you're i was talking about the difference between ordinary measures i'm not talking and, about and ordinary or extraordinary measures when it comes to medical 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 natural, natural progression natural versus sure. natural that is an entirely that's, 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 right. that's entirely Wait, great if i can just if i could just jump in no i don't need you if i could just jump in no no listen 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 oh wait wait let me let me just say if if we can allow maybe the uh turn the heat down a little bit on the conversation or at least slow it down a little bit we're making him at home uncomfortable i do want to give it, it does seem to be that no. destiny hasn't had no, as much that's opportunity sure. taking notes okay i'm good i'm ready we need another right? guest there right? no, no we no, absolutely no. don't let me go okay <laughs> you're making bad analogies by comparing any of this to ordinary or extraordinary medical care is a fundamentally separate question okay that's a separate I question agree. of provisioning resources I or whatever you don't agree because you brought it up as a contrary to no, the I question that i said i would originally ask you this question again and i'm going to ask you the question again because nothing that you said addressed it and my, and my question was and i'm going to repeat it a person that is in a coma that will never wake up should that person be indefinitely kept alive on life machines? It depends on on what are the yes. what are the what are the characteristics of them in that. The characteristic is that the person's body. The characteristic is the person is in a coma. They're never treats. going to wake up, but their body is still. Know? How do you know they're not? Gonna how do you know they're never going to wake up? Problem because is because the scientist has a magic. Even if they never woke up, that human still has value as far as things we can use for as far as medical science, seeing how long we can just keep them alive, even if it's just indefinitely, would be a massive medical advancement. Uh, if we could sustain human life, uh, I believe that, that, that all resources that we can expend should go towards that, uh, as long as it is viable uh, financially and uh, resource-wise. You know, obviously, if you don't have the money or the resources to do it, unfortunately, you can't. But my my answer to your question, Destiny, that I guess they don't want to answer is yes. I can bite that one, I think. Destiny, it's a machine that he pushes Destiny. a button and the machine says, this person Destiny, is never going to wake up. you're coming up with a magical scenario that you are designing without providing any context. Just to be clear, are you telling me that a person world. being in a coma is not going to wake up as a magical I, scenario? No, I'm telling no, you that you, when okay, people so we agree are that in a people coma, are in coma and often no, times we can say, guys, 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 you're please, one, one, one microphone at a time, please. Because the refusal to engage with the question demonstrates the weakness of your position. You can keep doing this, but to be clear, I'm going to ask the same question again. I still like to get my question answered. Wait, guys, please, no interruption. I am listening, but you're 
you're not okay. you're refusing to engage your life because no. you know that you don't have a rock solid no, definition of what type of life should be defended. The reason why you want to engage guys, guys, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're making a lot of assumptions. Order in the podcast studio. Um, I I am noticing perhaps on I I don't know who which side is doing it doing it most, but let's let's try to avoid interrupting. Let's allow people to speak, finish their thought, and then. If, if we can, if we can. Um, God, so, I Destiny, do you, you want to make... a round table. One question, we should answer. No, it's okay. To oh, be clear, I'm willing to, and I have responded to, when you asked me about feeding cancer patients, what I said killing, I said yes. You said when you withhold food from mm-hmm. child, like, I'll answer any question you give me. I have no problem. Answer my the position. question, have you ever considered that you may be wrong on this issue? And if you are Indeed. wrong on this issue, what does it mean you are spending your time advocating there's for? B- there's literally, there's problems on both sides. First of all, that's not the greatest question to ask. Um, you're getting well, into very weird, like, Pascal's way. I'm going to finish answering the question, okay? So, so just one, answer the one, question. I am answering the question, okay? You're oh, after you insulted me. What do you mean, how have I insulted you? Insulted me. <laughs> Wait, how did I insult you? My question. You said well, it's not the greatest question to ask. I said it's not a good question ask to ask because theoretically you run into a bunch of weird things. Well, what Maybe if I'm wrong on this particular thing? Question. What Have if you you're wrong by that? saying that black people and white people do deserve the same rights? Well, let's, like, let's, let, let's let Destiny answer sure, the question. Yeah, so, I mean, there's like, so I'm not going to always think of like, well, I'm wrong. I mean, I do consider both ends of things, but the, the, the consequences for being wrong on both ends are pretty disastrous. On one end, you're advocating for, I guess, arguably the genocide of like <laughs> of little babies. That seems and on the pretty other awful. end, sure. Mm-hmm. And on the other end, you're advocating forcing women to give birth to children that they might not. Want, uh, especially that in might cases of uh, uh, sexual assault uh-huh. or in cases where they feel like they can't support for the child. What do you it's think is, birth, what do you think abortion. would be worse? Genocide? So we had yeah. 60-some million abortions in America since Roe versus Wade. 60 million. More than a thousand children are killed every day at Planned Parenthood. Not, you can't. You, the think, you keep saying children, like you're yes, morally they loading are. your children. Young yes. humans. Okay. When you well, saw an ultra, 10, 000, when you okay, saw abortions. the ultrasound of your son in the womb, did mm-hmm. you say, "Wow, look at that fetus sucking its thumb," or did you say, "Wow, look at my boy, he smiled at me"? Yeah, I also get warm feelings when I look at my car. Like this isn't proving an argument are you by saying, saying cars like, are "Do the you same have, as humans?" I'm not saying cars. I'm saying that judging the validity or the veracity of your argument, uh, by the emotional man. responsibility has to an ultrasound. I also felt a certain type of way when my ex-girlfriend showed me that she was pregnant, but that doesn't mean that the urine on the strip is anything well, special what either, what right? You, what you, your emotions can match. Just the to be reality, clear, I still haven't gotten re- an answer to my coma and question, and which is like I fundamentally like an important. Well, my well, question. The reality. Uh, what was your question? So you guys are asking like three thousand. Do you consider you're wrong? You said I have considered I'm wrong, but the problem is on one end it'd be genocide. Finish. On yeah, one end, it would be genocide, yeah. and uh-huh. the, on the other extreme, if I were wrong, mm-hmm. I would have forced women to carry unwanted children, or in your word, mm-hmm. fetuses or things. Correct. What do you think would be worse? Well, in order... I mean, if we're, since you're putting it out like that, I'll go ahead and sit in and say, well, since you've made that woman have a child that she didn't want, she's probably more likely to neglect it or abuse it or leave it in situations that uh, are not ideal, potentially creating someone who becomes your next mass shooter or someone else, because monsters aren't always just uh, made. Sometimes they are created. It's not necessarily just a boon. I don't think that uh, that question is as strong as she thinks it is. Genocide of hundreds of millions of Innocent children babies, world, yeah. worldwide? Do you think that would be a little worse? The thing is, in order to a question. woman for nine months, if I were wrong? It's not in order to accurately answer the question, months you months have to assess years. the risk of being wrong on both ends. For instance, if I were to say, what would be worse? If I've got to choose between 50 people here or 100 people here to protect from some death event, you know, what should I choose? The 50 people or the 100 people? Well, it doesn't make sense what, unless what I have a... What do you mean by let, death event? As in, let's say that there's going to be something that has a chance of coming in oh, and killing no. both people, but I can protect one group of people. Do I want to protect the 50 or the 100? But that's not... Let, I correct, need to finish the analogy. Hold analogy. on. You, if you can't understand any hypothetical, we can't get anywhere in this but conversation. But hypotheticals don't the, no, match the, what we're discussing. The hypothetical perfectly maps on. What I'm saying no, is I wouldn't just say that I would protect the 100 people because 100 is greater than 50. What I would say is what is the probability of the 100 people dying versus what is the probability of the 50 people dying? And then from there, you would start to weight the decision accurately. So hundreds of so you ask me, haven't so died, you ask me, so when you pregnant. ask me, pregnant. so when you ask me, what's the probability or what is the likelihood of being wrong, or what's what would be worse, being wrong here or being wrong yeah. here? What I have to think of is what is the probability of being wrong on both ends. It's not just a one to one because I'm not going to sit here and pretend that everything is a one to one, like there's an equal chance of being right or wrong here. I feel very strongly about my my position about being pro choice, so I'm not weighting this as a 50 percent chance of being right here and a 50 percent chance of being right here. So the question doesn't make sense. So I'm saying it's a meaningless question. How do you feel very strongly about being pro choice when you? You can't even tell us at what point you think a child has this extra special consciousness that deserves right the right to life in the womb. 
How, you why would that prohibit you, you me from? You don't know when consciousness exists when it actually comes. You, you won't don't even know say when, the, when, it when the baby has. I've consciousness. given you the range of when di- people, different people, develop at different rates. It's mm-hmm. about twenty exactly. to twenty-five so rates. So you want to create. So you believe mm-hmm. that we should have a sliding scale of what it means to be a human person. We already have that sliding scale. We do it at death. That's why when no, we go back so to the, I'm going to ask again. No, 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 okay? I'm not answering the question. I think you ask, think answer this okay question. Do you think it's okay to kill someone I'm, when they're unconscious? I'm going to no, because I said capacity to deploy consciousness. What do you mean by capacity to deploy As in all of the parts in your brain are functioning and working and can deploy a conscious so experience. So an embryo who is developing their brain will absolutely have the capacity will, to deploy. Will, will implies but doesn't why, yet. But why are you being age discriminatory against that because child when for you not having fully developed? A ta- okay. No, hold on, wait, you can't just ramble and ask me a question. You ask me a question. If you're going to ask me, I'm just going to keep talking. Okay. When you ask me, will a thing have a right, I will agree with you that it will. The pieces for a building are not the same thing as a building itself. A seed is not the same the thing as a tree. A An embryo is not the same thing no, as a person. No, so when you say, hold on, don't stop saying this. <laughs> Every single, hi- okay, hold on. To be clear for the audience, whole. when you're having a conversation with somebody, yeah, if you're having a conversation with me and they're willing, they're not willing to engage with a single hypothetical or they claim every hypothetical doesn't map on, unless you can clearly explain why, it's because you know that the hypothetical is testing the limits of your belief in a way that demonstrates no, the absurdity science. of what you're saying. And you're you not, don't, first, you don't first of all, that. whether or not pro but or anti-life exists has nothing to do with science. It's not a scientific question. It's a question of moral philosophy, okay? Number one. So number two, going all the way back to this original question that I don't think you're going to answer me because I think that this does demonstrate the, the well, can you, faultiness I, of your I position I already is, answered you. You, and you didn't answer. An, no, did you said you. that's an absurd no, proposition to imagine said, a person could be in a coma. I said you needed to provide more information. Was it a medically induced coma? How long was the coma? These these questions matter. And they're actually, me, what, sure. what is I the can question? ask a very simple what? question. Was there What's injuries? The a person is in a bed. A person is in a bed. This person is unconscious in a coma. The doctor has a machine and he pushes the button. The machine says this person will never wake up again. But the rest There's of their no body works. There's no button like that that exists. That's why it's called a hypothetical. Then it's hypothetical a false hypothetical, hypothetical means destiny because it doesn't exist in the real world. That's oh a, you're God. inventing a false hypothetical that doesn't exist in the real world. That so, so you can't and, and engage? Human life dying. Yeah, so, 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 so and risk. you're using it to justify you can't, you can't, you can't ending a, the life yeah. of an embryo you can't adjust this. or a, a human being. I witness so debate de facto. If you're incapable of dealing with a hypothetical, then the conversation is like... No, we can deal with hypothetical. You can't. A hypothetical, by definition, is no. something that is not happening. That's why Destiny. it's called a hypothetical. Destiny. So wait, wait, wait. Let, me, <laughs> let me ask you a hypothetical. Yeah, Since you love hypotheticals, uh, let me ask you I a hypothetical. I love hypotheticals. So yes. that's great. scientists are working on artificial wombs. Okay. All right. Oh, mm-hmm. no. Is there I, like would a you agree with me that if here? they develop this artificial womb that can sustain human life, that there would be no legal reason there should be no legal justification for abortion because if you could remove a child from a woman's womb who says say doesn't want to have a child didn't want to get pregnant and place that child in an artificial womb where the child will safely grow and develop until he or she's ready to be born would you agree with me then in that hypothetical situation that there's no justification for abortion no why not? I You're don't. not even. We've there is ten no. unanswered questions back with the. I just solved you all the making, problems. You are making. You are making my hypothetical. No, no. You're you're being completely asinine. It's a ridiculous thing because the issue is not necessarily just with a woman caring. It's about them wanting to take care of the child, and there are other factors. It is a bit bigger than that. You are making a dialogue tree argument against an argument for viability. I have never made an argument in my life. I've never argued that viability is what determines if a child gets to live or die. That's an absurd position. I would never have that. So you're, if you're saying, saying you were making a viability hold on. argument. What? So, yeah, wait, so wait, wait, no, 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 wait. Because you don't even understand the no, arguments you're making. Now, hold on. You are making an argument for viability when you're saying, if I could show you an artificial womb, I love when should we not me. say... Yeah, I know, I love yelling at women. Okay, could you not say... I can tell. Could you not say, thank you. Could you not say that, like, well, if I can show you that I can transplant this fetus from this womb mm-hmm. at one week to an artificial womb, yeah. doesn't that give it the right to life? The implication there being the viability of a fetus to survive outside of a natural... I thought we should womb. find okay. common ground hold on, on that. Hold on. So I, I, yeah, the common ground, I would say, is that has no... No, so there is no common ground there. I would say 20 to 24 weeks. So the same answer I get before. Your, your entire mm. position is based on... The devel- is based on age. It's basically the development, the it's maturity. It's not based on age. It's based yeah. on development no. of the, of the consciousness. Age is development argument. is age, destiny. It could develop human, early or later, I guess, de- right? A, a, a development is age. Age is a marker of development. It okay? can be, sure. Yes. So, so your whole argument is that yeah. if the development hasn't happened yet, then therefore they're not a human life worthy of protection. And a person, yeah. A person, yes. okay. So are you saying that toddlers, because they're less developed than an adolescent, should have... Fewer should ha- should not have the same rights as an adolescent. They don't. 
kids don't have the same yes. rights. You agree with the same Fundamental thing. Fundamental human Hold on, rights. to be they clear. They different human whoa, rights whoa, okay, now you're developing more, but the funny thing because is you said rights. in your opening statement, you literally said they children have the same need human even rights, more right? protection. They don't have the same rights. A child can't sign a contract. A child can't but, buy a but house. A two-year-old can't go to high second. school. Do they have the same human rights? What? No. No. A toddler and an adolescent don't have the same human rights. Do you, what, human what, rights. Do you know? Do you, what, do you believe? That I would there are argue human that rights? I have like the human right to live in a house in the way that I want to. A three-year-old okay. does not have the so human right to live. Hold on. Okay. No, no. Hold on. Do you not agree there are fundamental human rights? Maybe that's there, there might be some. If you're gonna, if you want to get very fundamental in terms of like, do you have a right to not be killed? Yes. Then sure. I think that's a very important point to establish. Sure. You can say that. But earlier you stumbled onto something very funny that we all agree on is that based on the level of development, you actually do grant different rights to people. That is absolutely true. So you're saying if you're not Take developed enough, you have the right to be, you actually, instead of being more protected as a child, you should be less protected as a child, and you have less rights as a child to not be killed, to not a be cared for. A child is generally mm -hmm. defined as a human person, so but, you're begging the question when you ask, I believe the, all children should have rights. I just magical, don't agree that a three-week-old fetus still is a child. Are in the magical vagina? Or I more than I believe in the magical I, zygote that becomes a what magical about, human so what when it's two cells big. Yeah, of course. the intern I mentioned, the 21-week, six-day intern? What about it? So when she was born, she and her twin sister were born. Now that's okay, in her really 20, 24 houses, weeks. Who knows what so Destiny really believes about her at that I, point. I told you, between 20 and 24 weeks, yeah. you got to be kind of specific when you're that's talking about puberty. That's very specific. That's much more specific. But yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Do you think puberty? Wait, wait. I need to know. Answer, no, answer my question, okay. Destiny. Remember? I'm going to ask you this again. I'm yes, coming I back to the coma one, too. We still can come back to the coma all day long. You still haven't answered the coma question. Answer. It's a false what is? But what is the answer? So The answer is if you want to take care of a baby. Excuse me. Excuse me. Your at, excuse. Go ahead. At 21 weeks and six days, yeah. a child is born, uh -huh. and a child is surviving. A thing but is, yeah, okay. Is it a thing, or is it's it a child? Something, yeah, it must be something. Do, do I have the right, after mm -hmm. the moments that ch and child comes out... Right to kill it, actually. Well, that's why I'm trying to find out. Yeah. Moments after that child uh -huh. exits my body via C-section or vaginal birth, okay. does that child have the right to not be killed? Because that child is in that 20, 24 weeks, and we don't know, if the child according has your to your science, uh -huh. we don't know what type of consciousness consciousness rights consciousness this child has so is there anything wrong with saying well you survived we're not going to treat you we're going to actually actively dismember you or so inject a poison to your heart if to you're cause approaching a heart my position in good faith if i'm saying that consciousness develops around 20 to 24 weeks but how then do you, you would know? probably drop because that's when scientists but seem to think that how oh, do I'm you sorry, know I that I the child i'm so sorry i was interrupting your question was my answer how do you my know bad. the you child that 21 question. weeks and six days has consciousness how do you know? What's what's changed? I, you don't know. So that's what I'm saying. If no, no, that's what I was saying. I was going to answer, but you cut me off. You cut my answer so your question I off with know, another question. So I want to know, is it okay so You don't want to know. You're just trying to run me down a dialogue. After here. the child is born. Is it okay born? to kill a child? Probably not. Is it I would okay? It's probably never okay to kill a child, right? So my answer was that if the cutoff is seems to be somewhere around 20 to 24 oh, weeks if you're drawing but policy or legislation because we can't determine exactly when they're conscious you'd probably be safe uh, and say something like only here, first right. trimester abortion would probably be like a, a, a thing or, or like before like the 20 week mark would probably be about where you go to Jeez. that'd be my guess okay but so the child who's born at 21 weeks and six days mm -hmm. or the sure fetus or whatever that mean. would be past the policy what, cost. Uh, you'd probably uh, say at that what, point no, 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 this is destiny's hypothetical world this is Destiny's hypothetical yeah. world. If you're there at the delivery room, uh -huh. are, are you saying that that child can be killed because we don't know what that child's consciousness is? In Destiny's is. hypothetical world, if is we've drawn the line at 20 weeks, if the child is born at 21 weeks, we'd probably say, okay, well, now that it's so born, So now you've changed your position in this debate. You went from 20 to 24 weeks, and now you're down to 20, right? You kind so you understand of understand the difference between a policy position versus like an epistemic statement or like a moral statement. Yes, I'm not, a, I'm not a moron, thank you. And okay. it's weird. Well, then I don't, well, questions, like, I don't know do why you... Do you understand there's a difference between the color blue I, I, and the color purple? Okay. I'm not really sure. Yeah. I don't know. I've never talked to a misogynistic man like this before. Okay. All right. I still want to so know if you think that you there's don't something You don't want to know anything. Happens, I didn't even answer a question. Something Wait, I said in the very beginning of this. Yeah, I said in the very beginning of this that the cutoff would be 20 to 24 weeks. And now right? you're down to 20. So we've actually are w we're winning. He's down to 20 now. Well, Wait, hold on. Is that 20? So, wait, just, just a <laughs> question. Um, yeah. She, she's just accused you of being misogynistic. I mean, do you have a response to that? I am. Um, I don't think he has one. Well, no, be, I mean, is. come on, be. I'm being honest. You're not, you're not a misogynist, I Destiny. I hate women. 
The more time I spend around them, the more contemptuous I feel about them. Well, I mean, you're, you're trolling, life. but... Um, I've watched so many Just Pearly Things can, videos, can, I just can can't Can we even. go back to the consciousness stuff with sure. the Well, with Can the I even... Ha- apparently, my position that. doesn't even exist right now, so mm-hmm. let me restate for... No, I've your, tried con- to. your position's good now. We know where you're at least at. You're at 20 know. weeks. You've got... You moved from 24 to 20, 20 weeks, yeah, right? So the question of policy is separate from the factual question of when does a conscious experience happen, right? What I stated initially was, it seems like there's a conscious experience that starts at around 20 to 24 weeks. Can if you name the, the biologist? Case, I Google it. I, that's why I told you, I actually researched this for several hours today on NIH's PubMed website. And I actually found a lot of pro-choice scientists who are saying children don't feel pain at 12 and a half weeks. Or they don't know. Siblings can interact with each other at 14 weeks. So just using that data from the NIH's own website would tell you that now your 20-week limit on abortions, which is wrong and probably should be moved okay, down so to I 12 Googled to this 14. And the first weeks. thing that came up from scientificamerican.com, I'm not oh. sure what research that <laughs> is, consciousness requires a sophisticated network of highly interconnected components, nerve cells, mm-hmm. its physical substrate, the uh, thalamocortical gifts. complex that provides mm-hmm. consciousness with its highly elaborate content, it begins so to be in place between the 24th and 28th oh, wow. week of gestation. Oh, no. Now, that's, I Googled that, that was the first thing that happened, so it's crazy to me that you read all but, these but studies. Destiny. But however, however, I will finish, um, 24th to 28th, I've also seen stuff that says, 20th to 24th mm-hmm. week. So, because I and don't want to murder baby, to be safe, to, to be weeks. safe, to be safe, I would probably say, um, I would go with the earlier number because I generally don't want to kill children most of the time. Um, so I would say that the policy position should probably say that on the 20th week, that should probably be the cutoff where we start treating it as a child and then you give it all the same protections and rights that you would a third trimester pregnancy mm-hmm. or a born child. So that's about what I said. I, no I, position has changed. I haven't moved at all. I, at the very beginning of this debate, I said 20 to 24 it. weeks is about, I haven't even clarified that. Was mis- the policy position would probably just stop at 20 weeks. I have a question for Destiny. Do you believe in human rights? Um, that's a, what, what do you mean by that? Do you a believe in question. universal fundamental oh. human oh. rights that all human beings like share? Like object, that yes, I do believe there are some okay. universal rights people should have. Good. Do they object to should. the right to life? Do. Does that include the right to not be killed? Um, generally speaking, I would say so, yeah. Generally speaking, or yes? This, it's Do that's I a very difficult question. It, if two countries are at war with each other, does somebody have a right to kill an enemy combatant? You can't answer that's this a, question. That, that, does somebody have a right to kill an enemy combatant in a war? Yeah. So in a well, war, I'm asking. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Something called, there can be something called just war just theory. theory. There's different sure. theories for but what if there's makes a just war, war just or unjust. Okay. That and yes, you can be tried for war crimes for unjustly killing a civilian. Okay. I'm just trying to make you understand that because they have a right to life as a human being. I'm just trying to make you understand that when you ask me a question of like, does everybody have a fundamental right to life? Depending on what you're asking, that could be a very, very difficult. Say it again and, and let me know if this is clear. Do you as a human being have a right to not be killed? I would no. say, generally speaking, without due process, that you are generally speaking without if we process. have any sort of construction of government, my imagination okay, would be that a society, fundamental right would be yes. a right to Excellent. life, to not be killed. Excellent. Yes, I would agree with Excellent. that. And, 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 and country, in the yes. United States, under yes. the U.S. Constitution, the 14th Amendment says that we have a right to equal protection under the law, mm-hmm. and no state has a right to deprive the life of anyone without due process. You've I probably agree. heard this before. Okay. Yeah. So, do you think that there is any due process for the human life it right now is there where is the due process for the human life before your consciousness arbitrary well, I would land? say that that person isn't protected by the constitution because they're not a person yet okay and you're defining mm. personhood based on somebody this that 20 has to capability 24 week of having a conscious and, experience okay. yes so mm. so let's talk about that for a minute if I'm un- under anesthetic and I'm unconscious mm-hmm. and someone comes up to me and says can I kill you and I'm unconscious I can't say don't kill me can they kill me no tell me why because you have the capacity to deploy a conscious Just experience. Just like the fetus. Just no, the fetus no, can't. It the fetus Destiny, the fetus if you don't please, kill that no, fetus, no. the fetus with a matter of time, because I'm under anesthetic, in a matter of time, I will come out from under anesthetic and I will have my consciousness. Mm-hmm. For the fetus, if you don't kill that fetus under a matter of time, the natural human development, you were once a tiny child in the womb, maybe 18 weeks before the consciousness that you half say some biologists claim for, half of me was and an you, egg, if yes. no one killed you, uh-huh. then you would have your consciousness, just like I coming out of an aesthetic, anesthetic would have my consciousness. Do so you why think is it, that why, so, uh-huh. so your position sounds like age discrimination because you're saying that because the child is not De- doesn't have their consciousness yet, just like under anesthetic, I don't have my consciousness yeah. regained yet. Do you think yet, there are any two-year-old human? Do you think there are any two hundred? Then year you're old, saying you think that, that there's okay to kill them. Do you think there are any two hundred-year-old humans that deserve, like, to be protected by all the human rights that we have fundamentally? Well, if I think if someone if lived to be two hundred, <laughs> then yeah, that'd be pretty awesome. What about right now? Are you ageist? Who's actually alive? 
Yes. What do you mean in my ages? If there was a 200-year-old, I'd say yes. If they're alive, that would be amazing. Okay, and, and if there no was a one-week-old having a conscious experience, I would say it as well. I'm but not if being the 200-year-old is asleep and unconscious, I still don't have the right to kill them, Destiny. Because if they're asleep, they your, can wake your, up. Your line of consciousness, your, your reasoning on, about answer, consciousness wait, 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 is not logical. Gonna, it's it's you just not uh, logical. Your, the, whole, okay. the fundamental so flaw of your entire position because sure. you keep saying, I understand. Well, like, if so they quick, wake up. I'm just going to talk now, okay? The way that this conversation works is because you two have organizations because you two are bought in. You can never even remotely consider I have to because I haven't gotten the ability to even respond to Here comes a misogynist. Come on. It's not misogynist. How is that okay? Now I'm in my demon racial energy because you're both white people. So now I'm like hitting you because you're white, okay? But you can't just throw that zinger in there like, oh, you're only pro-life because you're really pro-life organization. I have to because the style of argumentation that you're both engaging in is like a gish gallop of 50 million questions. Nothing is scientific about this conversation. It's 50 million questions about me being able to respond to or answer anything. Well, let's have a scientific. What is not scientific about the argument? I've got a question. This is a question of philosophy. It's not a scientific argument. I got a question. Got a question here. Uh, I, none of my questions have been answered yet. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so we can go back to your hypothetical, but if you don't, just ask, if you don't answer yeah, my yeah, clarifying so questions, so Lila, I have a question then for you, Lila. I got, I, got, I, got, I got a question for you, Lila. Yeah. Uh, for everybody here at the <laughs> table. Wow, it's very, it's very heated. Okay. Um, when does life begin? At the moment of conception, when the sperm moment of fertilization and egg unite, when a unique, whole, living human being that never existed Finally, before I can agree with and yourself. will never exist again comes into existence with a unique genetic code and 96 Wait, so are twins percent not human? excuse me Hold on, just no 96 are. percent of biologists in the University of Chicago study can e majority of whom were pro-choice and liberal confirm that fact that there is no other point at your development can you say you became you then at the moment of conception when your DNA your genetic code came into existence that is a biological fact and I'm sorry it's inconvenient to raise that, but well, that is that is the fact. And to clarify, I would agree with you, Destiny. If human life began at consciousness, I would say, you know, anything before that human life beginning at consciousness, I would say it doesn't matter. It's not a human life yet. But that it, what's inconvenient for you is that human life doesn't begin at consciousness. Human life and First humans. Of all, none of this is inconvenient for me. I'm not a woman. At the end of the day, I'm not going to have a kid, so it's not well, inconvenient you, for me at all. Okay. Wait, so you uh, test me. When, I, when I didn't give birth to him. But uh, it's, he's your child. I'm just saying you're saying it's inconvenient to me, where it's like I'm not. It's not. It's not well, inconvenient to me to recognize. Well, you're representing the pro-abortion yeah. position here, and Surely you're saying that consciousness is the line that. Sure, but I'm just saying that the you keep saying like it's inconvenient. None of these facts are inconvenient. I'm totally. Well, they are because they they dispute your like made up definition of when personhood so begins. There is no, the definition of when personhood begins is literally the subject of our debate. There's not a scientific answer to that question. What, what, what I Unless said at the very beginning rights. is no, when you Human when rights you are not science. Excuse me. Excuse me. When you, if you separate yeah. when human beings that, come you, into existence. Is that mechanical existence? engineering? When do you learn Excuse me. Sorry, well, if you separate when human beings come into existence okay. and personhood and you make it two different lines, mm -hmm. it's always bad. Bad things have always happened throughout human history when we try to separate human beings from personhood. Yeah. It's always a slippery slope, and bad things always happen, is what we're saying. So the, the, oh, the sorry, reason, sorry. one more comment, the reason, the, reason human, the reason science is very important for yeah, the pro-life yeah. debate is because, and, and the question of human rights, is because human rights are about the humans that have rights that are universal, so all, of, all humans, if you're a member of the human family, you have these rights, and I think mm -hmm. earlier you did you know, kind you of keep saying kind that, but we don't. No, 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 no. You, you have more to, qualifiers. Let, can I just just oh, I'm so sorry. You did, you did kind of. It's all right. <laughs> you did kind of agree. I think you agreed that we have the right as humans to not be killed, right? No. Um, there, but there has to be more qualifications. Right. There, there needs to, to be more qualifications. It's not just humans because we agree that corpses, for instance, don't well, get protection. So there has to be more qualifiers. I think Destiny. I think your position is not human rights. It's conscious rights. That you have to be a conscious. You have to have consciousness, mm -hmm. and not just have consciousness. You can have it Go taken away from you and it come back to it, but that oh, is okay. Nice. But if the child hasn't developed yet, then that's okay. That's your your line. And Destiny, do you want to answer the question, just when does life begin? Uh, when if does life begin, or when yeah. did it become a person? When does human life begin, Destiny? Mm -hmm. Whatever your sense of the question is. The personhood is. thing that I'm looking at. No, let's talk about science for a second. When does human well, life begin? I answer the question, you answer it. If you're talking about like when does a unique genetic code happen, it's yeah. right at the union, uh, it's right at the moment of conception. When two yeah. parts become a whole. Correct. Excellent. Finally, we agree on something. <laughs> 
That, well, that's, that's when a, human life that's comes a, into existence. On. Yeah, that's called a scientific fact. That, that's Wonderful. what we've been saying. Okay. In the I understand. Let me catch well, you up there are to a lot the conversation. Of people who don't sure, agree with I understand. Let me catch up yeah. the conversation. We're not having a scientific discussion on when genomes are formed. We're having a moral philosophy discussion on when does something get the protections of being a person. Correct. Right? And our position mm -hmm. is simple. And what Kristen mm -hmm. was saying earlier is that throughout human history, there have been many times when groups of humans, oh, excuse me, where yeah. groups of humans were considered non persons, right? I don't and know you're what this happened. Am I going to get Certainly, you're certainly familiar oh, yeah. with this, Destiny, and I know Kristen is, go but back to this for question. example, under the Rwandan genocide or with slavery in our yeah, country, I um, the that's Holocaust, that's the there, next are, step. there are groups of people mm -hmm. who were seen as who it were humans. It was Roe v. Wade, KCV Planned Parenthood, and then were, I think it was apartheid in South finish, Africa. There were, yeah. there were, there no, were actually, I think Roe v. Wade came from that. There were I human think, oh, beings. Yeah. might have been. Because they were inspired by the Nazis, right? Just to clarify, there were human beings that were seen as non-persons, and that opened the door to huge injustices. Okay. And similarly today, we see humans in the womb at this arbitrary line and you're uh, one among many I mean other people say well at you know uh, oh, right before birth is when they become human or viability is when they become human or heartbeat is when arguments. they become human good, there's yeah. all of there's a lot uh -huh. of different variations I think because those are all really bad arguments Hold on, just let it finish, uh, well, just let I, I agree so and sorry, I think consciousness bad. is a terrible argument too because you can't argument. because you can't assign that's your opinion the development of Obviously, a human that's yeah. why I'm representing and your opinion is wrong and back to the toddler back to the toddler and the adolescent because you kind of you pulled a you had a clever move there Destiny you were saying well you know an adolescent Lessent has rights, uh -huh. like signing a contract that a toddler doesn't have. So therefore, I think your next c qu conclusion of that was, if you're pre-born in the womb before consciousness. I could also tell you my conclusion. You know, you don't have to guess because well, I'm here. Well, okay. I mean, feel, feel yeah. free to keep on. But I, but it was an interesting pos position because what I was trying to get to in that conversation before I got a little bit derailed there is, do you think that your mm -hmm. age or your development as a human? Mm -hmm means you are more or less entitled to equal protection under law for basic human rights, including the right to not be killed. Um, if, we're, if that development, when you say including the rights to not be killed. That fundamental right to life. Let's just talk about only that right. Only that intuition right. intuition pumping. So, yeah, um, just, I don't know about intuition pumping. Let's just talk, isolate it and just say just the right to not be killed. The right to not be the victim of homicide. I don't know. I'm not sure. It depends on what kind of deaths we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So here's a question, for instance. A lot of women have miscarriages, mm -hmm. like without even knowing in the first true. few true. weeks of getting one. pregnant. Mm -hmm. Do you think that those embryos should be rushed to the hospital? Well, if the embryo is dead, no. I mean, okay, I think, but should I think it, do you think that like any woman, do you think we should start locking every single woman that has sex into some sort of facility to check for early miscarriages like that? Because if it is true, wouldn't that be the equivalent of a woman leaving a child starving to death on their floor? No, no. absolutely not. No. I, how dare you? Hold on, can you First answer the question? Off, no, 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 what? it's not. Oh, Why you, is it not? Well, you obviously it's not because. Oh my gosh! It's not because. Well, hold on, you're telling every me. Every woman hold in America who has just had a miscarriage. Very, very very hold on, one at the very time, moment one of conception. Time, if you want to go all the way to the moment of conception, mm -hmm. then that means that a woman who just whatever kind of miscarries in the first, second, or third week and doesn't realize it, that is the same as like, oops, somebody dropped their child down the stairs and they died. No, that is not absolutely the not the same. Do you understand science and what happens in a miscarriage? And an, an unattended miscarriage? Unattended. That's why I'm saying we should lock them up after they have sex. I don't think so. your argument doesn't make any sense. My argument makes perfect sense. No, no, if you actually truly lock believe, a woman up, it's actually I'll very easy. I'll restate my argument. I'll restate my argument. I understand it's really, I know yeah. it Which hurts. Which is why I don't think you should kill pregnant, pregnant women, quite flaw. frankly. If you believe can I, can that I the finish? moment can of, no, you can't right now. If you believe that at the moment of conception, you've created a unique human being, then that means that right now, you should be in tears because at every moment, women that are engaged, in fact, you could probably make the argument that sex without the intention of immediately going to a hospital is probably immoral because you're engaging in some activity that might result in the death of a child and sorry, do it three or four weeks think, because you don't know if you're going to have you a miscarriage. Every, every, every single time, every single time a human being a woman, woman has sex, that's how they rush to the hospital please, please, immediately please, after please, just please, to please, make please, sure please, please, that whatever please. fetus might be there is absolutely no, I, 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 I don't think, let me ask your question. That, now, that is misogyny because what you're saying is women cannot gestate human beings in the womb and be productive citizens of our society. That's exactly, that is misogyny, So, Destiny, I don't know that. Hold on, let's let Lila Okay, I don't know. I think your question might betray perhaps a little ignorance about how pregnancy works. Okay, inform me, because, please. Because because if a woman gets pregnant, mm -hmm. rushing her to the hospital 
is not going to magically prevent a miscarriage that she may or may not have. Miscarries, miscarriages happen for a lot of different reasons, and I would argue, especially for imprisonment as an example, imprisoning a woman who's pregnant, which I am opposed to, by the way, mm -hmm. um, that I additional stress should add to the miscarriage. So if you grabbed a woman after she has sex and might be pregnant and drag her off to a hospital, a that might actually Quite induce stress in her. And yeah, but there's also potentially so things, sure there's behaviors a woman can engage in that, that would increase the risk of miscarriage, especially who doesn't know she's pregnant, right? right? Maybe say, a woman say, drinks. Say that one more time. There Destiny. might be behaviors that a woman could engage in mm -hmm. if she which is pregnant is that would increase the risk of pregnancy. However, that Destiny. means that you could have sex Destiny. with a condom and with birth control, and you might Destiny. actually get pregnant. So That's if a woman right, is having can. sex and she starts drinking whatever, she That's could be right. murdering a child Destiny. right then and there. Destiny, let me answer that. Yeah. That's why we have we have um, recommendations you know, from the FDA that women who are pregnant should not drink alcohol. No, no, no. You that's don't even why. know if you're pregnant. Wait, that's, 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 that's the whole thing. That's, that's, that's the yeah. difference between direct and indirect actions, though, right? That's how, what is, it, so it doesn't get much more direct than doing, doing no, things to your body that harms your child. No, if a woman is pregnant and does not know she's pregnant, say she just conceived and uh -huh. she goes and celebrates her 20th birthday at a bar, 21st birthday at a bar, and she drinks a whole bunch, and she miscarries, mis miscarries, no one would say you murdered your child. You m murdered your child. Of course no you did. That. That's not in, that. That was not the intent. It doesn't matter that, what the intent. You think the kid cares what the intent is? You murdered a child. Abortion. What is abortion? Abortion is the direct, intentional Wait, killing of an innocent. Do you think, human from the perspective I, of the fetus, do you think it cares if it was an accident or intentional? That it was action. Yeah, We're arguing about the morality of, of like abortion, that. which you've informed me no, about five times because you don't want to talk about science. Sure, but what I'm saying is that if you think abortion that from the moment of conception, I will say I'll give you this, Destiny. If you're, if you're having sex, where I have and this is actually goes to a, a, a related conversation to the abortion New conversation, but that's very important. I think the topic anyways, is, 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 any is sexual I, I have a question, actually. I and, have and a question. And I think your, your question kind of gets here. into the sexual ethics world, yeah. which I think yeah. is important. So we could go there. Sure. If you're having sex, well, am, 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 am I allowed to ask any of my questions? Because none of them got answered. Well, I, I would Do you want to reiterate them? Sure. I have like three really basic Can ones. I answer his, his little th hypothetical, though, yeah, really quick? Okay. Sure. About the mass genocide of Well, no. It was more about, you know, if you're having sex, should you be heavily drinking afterwards, I think was where you're going with that. And I would say... No, you shouldn't actually. I don't think, I don't think, and this is part of our society's problem today, post-sexual revolution, is we have separated sex from procreation and from relationship. Okay. And because of that, we have the abortion rate of 2,500 children killed every day by abortion. Because of that, we have mass unhappiness. We have breakdown among male-female relationships. People actually are having less sex in many ways than before. Pornography use is spiking. And it's all because we've forgotten what sex is designed for, which is intimacy and new life. Okay. So I would be against a culture, and I am against acts where people are just being promiscuous, having mm -hmm. sex, not Literally really none of that has and anything to do with what I said because like everything it. that I described happen could literally happen within a marriage where a woman gets well, pregnant doesn't realize well, it has some alcohol hold on, well, well, well then, then i'll answer let, to that too on, actually what? let me answer that too because i'm i'm okay. i'm saying that nothing nothing what let, i gave well, had anything to do with the okay well then then else, then, yeah. to, then i thank you for the clarification okay. um you know i can relate to your question i'm married we hope to have another baby and yes it, when i know if it's i might be fertile i might be getting pregnant soon yeah i'm not going to be getting drinking junk. gin and tonics because I might be getting pregnant and I want to have my body be as hospitable as possible for that baby. And I think that would be the prudent thing to do. And that's another reason to, if as a woman and you, uh, well, you're you having we sex, weren't talking you might about get what was prudent or not. We were talking about like moral rights or wrongs. But. Well, I, I think it would be morally irresponsible, yes, to be getting drunk when you may be getting pregnant, yes. Okay. On the same level as like murdering a child, right? Creating a new human being um, is there's a logical a, there's a, there's a bit of outcome of, just one of heterosexual time, please. sex. And so that's what Lila is saying, is that if you're engaging in heterosexual sex, mm -hmm. you have to be aware aware that one of the very biological outcomes of that behavior oh, of that choice you. you've made mm -hmm. is creating unique whole living human life so therefore you have consented to the fact that a unique whole living life may come into existence by engaging in that act knowingly gotcha. okay destiny did you have more i, I said a very I slow a very very, very clear. questions <laughs> did do we agree okay. that is puberty a real thing absolutely puberty is a real thing okay when does it happen it's a range. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. I know, I know where he's going. I know he's going. Can I just make a comment here? But that's very different. Hold on, hold on. There's an absolutely. Can I answer this? Um, sure, sure. Lila, like, I love you, but you don't let me answer any questions. Yeah, Lila. Jesus. So You're being misogynistic. I mean, I think it's been pretty. I've been trying to be I think they're both misogynistic, okay? We need hand signals. No, no. I understand where the question was. You brought this up earlier about puberty. Yes, absolutely. Puberty is a real thing. I have two 
pre-teens right now. I've, okay. I'm, I'm reminded every day that puberty is a real thing. Mm -hmm. And absolutely, it onsets at different ages based on the environment, based on a child's um, experiences or stress that a child may be going through or the genetic conditions that a child may have. Mm. But that's not, that's not an equivalent for saying, well, we don't know when human life begins, when we know it actually begins, and we've already proven as a scientific fact begins at the moment of conception. Else, Therefore, we can kill a human being. Okay. So it all I'm trying to illustrate to you is that can you I believe in... No. Okay? Yes, okay. Lila, go I ahead. I did what I we'll did have you come in. We'll have you come in. Go Thank ahead, you, Lila. Um, okay. So I would just say, uh, yes, there is a sliding time frame from mm -hmm. when someone might go undergo puberty. Mm -hmm. But if you are basing a decision about whether or not you can kill an innocent prepubescent or pubescent <laughs> child, mm. then I would say your a standard of puberty shouldn't matter. Yeah. Similarly to your yeah. standard, your so unjust standard of consciousness to demand that a, at a baby that's not fully developed yet has to be developed in order to be protected. And I think that's age discrimination. Gotcha. Okay. So all I'm trying to point out is we- Do you agree you, you are age discriminatory, by the way? Do you agree? I am age. That. Do you think, are you age discriminatory? So you're age discriminatory about when human beings should have I'm the right to- I'm age discriminatory about a lot of different things. So you believe that it- that you are age discriminatory about I'm developmentally Typ discriminatory. Typically, developmentally. De typically developmental discrimination is uh -huh. for the protection of the <sighs> less developed person. Uh -huh. Or it could be for the, so for the protection of a mother that doesn't want to have a pregnancy it's too. There is the another person in the equation here. Manipulation right, and the harm of the less developed person. Manipulation or harm of the mother is being forced to be a breeding factory for a child. Do you know what I'm saying? I can morally look at this the other way if you want. If you want to play that game, I can do that. Do you think the argument actually is in consciousness? I think you are making a bodily autonomy argument. No, I'm not. That's the you dumbest argument in the world. You absolutely are, because you said the mother up. has a pregnancy. No, the mother... No, I'm just trying to show you that there, if you want to morally load things like <laughs> murder of a child, well, then I'm going to say, well, forcing a well, mom to be a breeding Well, you didn't agree with machine. me about my analogy about... Um, artificial God. wombs. I, I, what I didn't agree, I rejected it because I said it was dumb because viability has no impact whatsoever on my feelings on whether or not a, a fetus is endowed, uh, endowed with rights for human life or not. Kristen is correct in that you are sort of talking out of both sides of your mouth a little yeah, bit Absolutely there not. On right now I'm struggling to talk out of one side on of the, my on mouth. The, like well, on the, on the one hand, Destiny, you're saying that it shouldn't matter whether or not the mother wants the baby or doesn't want the baby if the baby is conscious and on the other hand you're saying actually th the mother's desire to have or not have that baby being forced to birth that baby actually does matter so that's a little bit of a contradiction so the, yeah, it's not a contradiction at all whether or not somebody wants to have a child or not it's not okay, the same so as when does the I child get more I hear you. those are two fundamentally separate saying, questions you're saying you however be yeah. I might you are I might a want woman I might be want forced to give birth I you might are using want, that language no well because you're using yes. the language of like killing a child it has been great. It has been fun. Uh, honestly, I want to say during this latter part of this here, I guess, debate on morality, that it seemed I felt like there was a lot more attacks going on. Regardless of that, I've got to go get my son. I will try to make more videos going forward. I've gotten a couple of new things. Uh, one of those being, I believe I've already mentioned this in my last video, Dungeon Alchemist. Uh, I do plan to probably make a couple of maps, uh, the first one being a castle type map. Uh, another game that I got was Warno. Uh, I am pretty excited about that. I've been trying to debate if I'm going to stick to just one side, but the truth is I'll probably be playing both. Uh, I'll probably have more information for you guys on that next video, but until then, I hope you all have a great day. I hope this has been somewhat entertaining and enlightening. And uh, with nothing else, I'll see you guys next time.